Here we're going to write a direct variation equation that relates the two variables, then solve. So in this one we have suppose y varies directly with x and y equals 16 and x equals 8. Find y when x equals 16. So the first thing we're going to take care of is this first part where we're going to write an equation because we know that y varies directly with x and that y is 16 and x equals 8. So our direct variation equation that we're using is y equals kx. Well, y is 16, k we don't know, x is 8. I'm going to get k by itself by dividing both sides by 8. These cancel. 16 divided by 8 is 2, so now I know that my constant of variation, k, is 2. And then I write my equation y equals 2x. So that's the first part. We need an equation. Now I can answer the second portion, which is to find y when x equals 16. So to do that, I'm going to plug 16 for x. So I have y equals 2 times 16 and now I'm going to multiply, and what I get is y equals 32. And that's the second portion. Now we can also see this equation done where we're finding x instead of y. Again, we know suppose y varies directly with x, and that y equals 4 and x equals 3. So first, I have to take care of this first portion because in order to solve, I need an equation. So then I have the same equation I've been working with for direct variation, y equals kx. I know that y is 4, k is what I need to know, and x is 3. Divide both sides by 3. The 3's cancel. 4 thirds cannot be reduced, so I leave it as 4 thirds equals k, and therefore my equation is y equals 4 thirds x. So this is my direct variation equation. Now I answer the second portion. Find x when y equals 42. Well, here's my equation. y equals 4 thirds x. I know what y is. y is 42, so I'm going to substitute 42 equals 4 thirds x. Now, I need to get x by itself, so in this case, since it's 4 thirds times x, the opposite of that is divide. So I'm going to divide this by 4 thirds, and I'm going to divide 42 by 4 thirds. So these cancel. Now I have a fraction. I'm dividing with a fraction. So this is where I can rewrite it into a division formula which is 4 42 divided by 4 thirds. I'm going to keep the first, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. If I need to, I could put a 1 under the 42, and when I multiply, I multiply straight across. So it's 42 times 3, which is 126 over 1 times 4, which is 4. I'm going to reduce this. 2 goes into 126, and 2 also goes into 4. So when I reduce it, I get 63 over 2, and therefore x equals 63 over 2. And that is how I solve direct variation equations when it's in this form.